In the background, you can see a VFX scene from the video Chapel above the Zillergrund. And in this video, I will show you how to create this scene. I open a new Blender project and click on VFX in the splash screen. In case you already remove the splash screen, you can click on the small plus in the menu, go to motion tracking and Blender opens up the same tab. The first step is to open the footage. In my case, the hiking video Chapel above the Zillergrund. I switch to cycles, set the resolution to 4K and the frame rate to 30 frames per second. Now you can click on set scene frames and Blender calculates the length of your video. In this case, Blender sets the frames to 411. I limit the frames to 138 because from this frame on, the road is no longer in picture. Next step is to click on prefetch to cache the video. This makes the navigation and the whole process much faster. The blue bar indicates the progress of caching. I enlarge the center area and add some tracking markers. Click on add and then click into the scene to add a marker. You can move the marker as usual with G. Blender needs at least eight markers. So I add several markers in the scene, add features with high contrast. I select all markers with A and go to a frame near the middle of a video. I track the markers backwards with this button. Go back to the middle and track forward. Since the camera pans away from the road, some trackers got lost. It turns out later that a few more trackers in the left area would save the scene in the last frames. Anyway, I switch to the Solve tab and activate the three checkboxes Focal Length, Optical Center and Radial Distortion. In most cases, this leads to better results when typing the values manually in the camera settings. Next, we click on Solve Camera Motion. In this case, we got a good solving error of 0.45. Before we set up the viewport scene, I select three markers and click on floor. These markers should all be located on a plane in the video. The last step is to click on setup tracking scene and Blender builds up the scene in the viewport. Switch to layout tab and delete the point light. I go to camera view and Blender already puts the footage in the background behind the scene. When I play the video, you can see the tracking was quite successful. In the render properties, I remove the motion blur setting because this leads to strange artifacts with the default settings. The plane becomes my shadow catcher. Blender already activates the option in the visibility tab. I adjust the inclination of a plane a little bit. When we play the last frames, we see that the tracking was not successful due to the lacking of trackers in the left area. Don't forget to activate transparent in the film tab. For more realism, I added a HDRI with similar lighting like the video scene. I also added a sunlight matching the sunlight in the video. And the last step is to deactivate the undistortion node in the compositor. This node leads to strange distortions in the corners of a screen. I tried the first render with a default cube. The shadow catcher works and the lighting is quite okay. Now you can place your own 3D models in the scene instead of a default cube. If you want to try out the 8080, you must go to my video create a walk cycle for an 8080. In the video description, you will find a download link for the 3D model. 
but you must create the walk cycle yourself. With the help of a tutorial, this should be no problem.